Oh my god. That's so cool. There we go. Yes. Man. Flint and iron pyrites. Yeah, just collected from the beach up the way with what I call <coughs> cream and brown oak girth tinder fungus. Yeah, don't know what the old Latin is or what other people call it, but that's how I identify it and that's what I call it. Unprepared, not as amadou, as a natural amadou. Yeah, took out that layer, buffed it up a bit, it's still going there. Good co extender, and they have it. That old way of making fire. Prior to this, percussion wise, I'd, I'd done our been using you know, like a carbon steel flint and our char cloth, or, or char down, or you know, various other tinders. But first time with iron pyrites and flint that I've collected myself up the way. Happy days, glory, hallelujah. Amazing. Amazing! Computer's pretty dusty now. There's fire making here. So, I mean, how do I do this? I bet. It's not good to inhale. Flint dust, silicosis, yeah, I believe it's called. Not too clever, clever. Just want to see if this other, this, this is paired as Amadou, but it's, a, it's, a, it's not quite like Amadou, it's... I'm not sure if it's going to work. Brilliant cold extender, absolutely incredible. This is whatever it takes. I not quite done that. Jeepers Creepers it's holding so far. Will it do it? Yeah, we got doing this trying to film. These angles. Like this, yeah? I've only got it in here because I'm inside here. Be easier to get the air at it out of this. What it needs is air. Oxygen. Yeah, so two different types of fungus, prepared and unprepared. Very, very happy. Make me cry that smoke. Ah, oh, it's not. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> but I am happy about it. But oh, yes, yeah, smoke. I promise, honestly. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'm ashamed to cry, man. But it's <laughs> tell you the truth. Now there you go for carrots. It took me quite a while to find my own source of iron pyrites to go with the flint that I'd already collected. Jeeps creepers. That's sharp, man. Sharp edge. I've, I've napped some real sharp edges on here. And that's got some, I have to pretty much tidy that up before the kids come in because it's layers of sharp bits, man. Sharp, sharp. I'll put this out. 
Before we had the fire department coming around. My brother won't be too too impressed. He works at the fire department. He finds out I've been sitting in lots of flats, and he won't be very uh, impressed with me. Sorry, Rich. My brother's name Rich Barker. Famous jungle explorer in his own right. Great surfer, jungle explorer, father of four, married to Jen. Fantastic guy, Jungle Red, check out his, his stuff. Yeah, www.jungleread.com, I believe it is. So Facebook and all that kind of thing. Very interesting bloke. Many jungles, far, far. Loads, loads of times in Papua New Guinea, kind of even in jazz type way, yeah. You know, Indonesia, Sepsibut and Delivu, down the Amazon, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, be impressed, Reg, I put the fire out, just about. Hi, brief intro to the Iron Pyrites, Flint and Tinder Fungus video, yeah? I just wanted to show you because you don't really see the materials properly there. This is the some of the iron pyrites that I collected yesterday, yeah. Off the beach, yeah. Okay, iron pyrites, yeah. And flint, yeah. Yeah. Okay, these are the two babies that. Look, it's too light to see sparks here, even when it's darker, yeah, but I'll uh, knock these together, yeah. Okay, and the tinder funguses, yeah. This was un... Uh, this was unprepared, as it were. It's just dried, taken from the tree. I call it uh, brown and cream oak girth or oak belt. It's descriptive of the fungus, yeah, and where it grows, where I found it. Yeah, the newer growth tends to be creamy and part of it stays creamy until it gets older anyway and the other part, other part of it is brown later it's pretty much all brown but you've got to cut out the right layer okay it's not about making the tinder fungus I've got that on another video but just to tell you what it is yeah unprepared then there was this which was is prepared yeah white beach wound staunch shield good that's part of the name yeah white beach wound staunch for short but shield good is pretty pretty App name too, yeah, because you could make a shield out of this. It probably shield bullets. Unbelievable, giving the military a secret there. Yeah, unbelievable fungus, incredible cold extent of this. I'm not joking. You might think I scared them talking about. It. Sorry, but if you probably haven't handled this, yeah. So I do know what I'm talking about. This is unbelievable stuff. Definitely turn arrows, turn a knife, man. Easily. Yeah. Try it, try it. Not on your body, <laughs> of course. Um, unbelievable. And it's if you do get a wound, this this is good. Anyhow, this has been prepared as Amadou. Now, one of the ways you you read in many different ways, Skinner Cat said it before, said again, in, in lots of different ways. The way I did it is 24 hour slim, simmer in hardwood ash, yeah? Taken out, give it a good beating, yeah? Put it back in the hard wood ash, simmer it 24, another 24 hours, yeah. Give it a good beating, then dry it out. Yeah, unbelievable. Both of them work. When you want to spark it, the best thing to do, it seems to be, to you know, use a knife, whatever, buff up a little bit, the greatest surface area, and a little bit easier for the sparks to catch, yeah. So both of those worked, and you'll see both those on the video. This is one of the seven ancestors and nine families of fire making, the percussion technique, yeah. Prior to this, I've been using flint and steel with char cloth or char down on different tinders but now having finally found where to find my own pyrites I've, I've cracked it and I'm super glad at the end of the video you've got a couple of char plant down and char cloth with uh, flint and uh, steel just for interest yeah and I've got other videos doing that side with the fire and so on and so forth with, with our flint and steel but uh, this is just an intro to this present video on particularly focusing on pyrites, yeah. Yeah, and this is the first time for this one, but it's that and the fire piston are the last of the techniques of all the nine families that I've, that I've come to and I've just cracked this one. The fire piston is under, is, I've made some now, but I haven't cracked it. There you go. 
Um, it's the last one of the nine families, to be frank, with several variations of each one, and that's, I don't know anyone else who's done them all, to be honest, so there you go.